Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yuyan. So today's video is going to be on how I edit my Instagram photos. Kobe, <laughs> don't mind Kobe. He just loves laying on the pillows. I made this video a couple months ago, um, but I feel like I should make an updated one because I do get a lot of questions on how I edit my current photos. And while it's not that much different, I do use the filters a little bit different now. So I thought I would just share a updated how I edit my photos video. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you find it helpful. If you want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, then let's just get right into it. Okay, so after I shoot my photos, I just go through all of them and I favorite the ones that I love. Um, so as you can see, these are just like ones that I really, really like that I have shot and then I just go about editing it. So this photo is one that I recently shot and what I do is I import it to Visco. So Visco is the app that I use for basically all of my photos. And once you import something, it goes into your drafts and then you just pull it up and you select edit so I already have these presets and I'll show you how I do it the filter that I almost always always use on my photos is C7 and as you can see it just really makes the picture very very vibrant but I don't want it that vibrant so I turn it down I turn it to around maybe like a three depending on the photo but generally a three and then next what I would do is I would adjust the photo so I kind of just straighten it out and I like to crop it to a four or five ratio because that's the ratio of the photos in uh, when you upload it to Instagram so I kind of just decide how much I want to crop so I feel like that's a good amount um, and then what I would do is is I would bring down the exposure just a little bit not by too much and another thing I always do is bring up the temperature so I like my pictures to look very warm if you see the photos in my feed they're all generally very warm that's just kind of the look that I like for my photos so I bring it around like a one-ish. Um, and then the last step that I do, I always do this, is grain. So I love that like grainy look in my photos. I feel like it just looks a little bit vintage-y. It just has like a certain vibe to it that I really like. So I'm gonna bring the grain. I generally do it around like a two or a three and that is what it looks like so in order to save like kind of your preset to visco and make it easier to edit every single time you just tap on this third one and you do this plus sign and that is the preset with all of the edits that you have made and then i will just press next and i will save it to my camera roll a very easy way to edit and it's just very fast if you guys follow me on instagram you know i love like doing little stories of wallpapers that i've shot so for example this wallpaper this is totally unedited i just took like a street shot one day so with this what i'm gonna do is i am going to import it to visco and i'll show you how easy it is with the preset already done so edit and i will just tap on the third option the preset and apply it and there we go and sometimes depending on the photo i would maybe want to adjust it a little bring down the exposure even more bring the um, warmth even more it really just depends on what you like and then afterwards you can just save it super super easy so i'll show you again another like outfit photo edit that i've done so for example this one i took this one a couple of weeks ago i really love it it's warm and, and honestly i wouldn't need that many edits to it but i'll just import it to visco pull it up and then i'm just gonna click on the preset so as you can see it's a little bit too too vibrant so in this case i'll just bring down the c7 filter a little bit and then i will crop it because it's kind of in like this weird angle crop it a little bit and adjust it a little bit having the preset honestly is so easy and it saves you so much time and also doing that kind of creates a more cohesive feed if that's what you're into so i'll just press next so obviously i have some like photos that are shot not in the best lighting because new york isn't always sunny and sometimes it is cloudy so for example i feel like this photo is a little bit dark um it doesn't have the best lighting i think it was a, like i think it was a really cloudy day and the sun was about to set so i'm going to try 
decide to edit this photo for you guys in my drafts pull it up and i'm gonna apply the filter and see what it looks like so honestly i kind of like it i don't think it's you know too dark after i apply the filter but i am going to fix it up a little bit so i'm going to adjust it because it is a little bit crooked and i am going to do the four five ratio and kind of crop it so it's closer so you can see my outfit more and then press the check mark and i pretty much like how that looks but i do want to brighten it a little bit so i'm going to bring that exposure up and then i'm going to make it a little just a little bit warmer and that is the before and that is the after and i feel like that looks a lot better than before so that is pretty much how i do most of my photos the app that i use and just like the presets and everything super easy and i think what's really important is finding good lighting um i do have a video talking about like how i take my instagram photos with the poses with the lighting with you know finding backgrounds and all that so let me know if you guys want me to make an updated video of that i feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with editing photos because it all goes into your instagram feed and you want it to look really nice and cohesive so yeah let me know if you guys want a video on that um but yeah that is pretty much what i do with my photos if you watch my older video on how i edit there was a lot more apps to it there was a lot more like complications to it but i feel like i really simplified it a lot and it's just so much easier to edit um if i want to put a certain thing on my story i basically just use the same technique for all my photos sometimes i like that more vintagey dusty kind of like look to my photos for a certain type of vibe and let me show you guys how i do that so for example i took this photo a few months ago in central park it was still warm hence the dress and all that but um i really love like this type of vibe to the photo it's not usually my usual like you know street shots and all that so i'm gonna show you guys how i would edit this photo for a more like vintagey kind of like vibey aesthetic photo so i'm gonna use just like the preset that i have i think i'm pretty happy with that and i'm going to adjust the photo so first i'm just gonna kind of make myself a little bit straighter because i'm kind of crooked and another thing that i really like doing to kind of elongate the body elongate the legs is go on the skew option and i will just use the y skew and kind of pull it like this towards the left and as you can see it just elongates the leg a lot because usually when i take photos i like to have um, the person taking my photos to kind of tilt the phone a little bit up so it elongates the leg but you know not everybody does this and that's perfectly fine so what i will do is use the skew and kind of elongate the legs even more so that's a great trick if you want to look taller in your photos save that adjustment and then also um, just do the 4 5 ratio. So I'm pretty happy with that how that looks So I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna bring it to Afterlight. So I don't know if you guys know about Afterlight I think it is such a great app a really nice like um, quick editing tool as well and I Basically just used Afterlight for their um, Dusty filters. I think they have the best ones. So I'm gonna go into my album pull this photo up and it is this option the fourth one um, and i use the dusty so as you can see there's like a bunch of different options um, i generally like five or six but there's like so many different ones so i'm gonna stick with six you can turn it down turn it up depending on how you like and when i use the dusty option one thing that i like is kind of just bring the brightness down a little bit i just feel like it gives it a little bit more of a vibe and then i will bring the contrast down just a little bit and that is what it looks like i think it's just such a cool little touch to the photo if you wanted to just make it a little bit different i love like the dusty effect i try not to do it too much in my photos but once in a while i think it's really cool a photo that i did do that with is one of me and samson on the bridge so for example this photo samson and i took this over the summer um, on the brooklyn bridge so i'm gonna show you how i edit this one so first i import it to visco of course again do my presets as you can see like so so easy and quick this by itself is already pretty good i i'm pretty happy with it um but i'm just gonna adjust the four five again bring it a little bit closer to us okay and then i am going to save it and then i'm going to pull it up in after 
after light. So um, when I posted this photo on my feed, I actually did use the dusty effect just because I feel like there is like a certain vibe to this photo, like that New York City like night with the lights and everything. So I did apply the after light dusty effect. So um, as you can see, it works better with like darker photos, like night photos. So I'm just kind of like going through the dusty effects to see which one I like. I think I used six for this one. Um, when I posted it. So I'm going to bring that down just a little bit and I'm going to bring the brightness down just a little bit and that is what it looks like. It's just more of like a vintage-y kind of look so I really love that. I mean it's all preference. And then one last thing I want to talk about is just using the preview app. So preview app is kind of like an Instagram layout kind of app where you can kind of you know figure out your feed but I do want everything to look kind of cohesive and just kind of like make sure that the photos kind of fit together. So this is the preview app as you can see the ones with like the little Instagram um, sign on the bottom right. These are all the ones that are already on my feed. And you can just sign on to your Instagram on this app and it'll directly just pull up the photos you already have on your Instagram. So um, I don't have that many like future posts that I'm thinking about. So sometimes I just like to kind of play around with it. So sometimes I don't want like certain photos right next to each other if I'm doing the same poses or like um, wearing like very similar colors. I kind of just try to like break it up a little bit you know you can just kind of play around with it see what you like see if everything kind of like goes together kind of matches what you want to do with it and if you do have a photo that you are about to post you can kind of see how it looks on your feed before you post it so i do like that and also this is free um i believe the visco filter that i use i did have to pay for it i think it was like a dollar or two for like that um c filter package and i think the dusty effect in afterlight i did have to pay a dollar for that too so yeah just keep that in mind but honestly i think visco cam has so many great free filters i've been using visco for so so many years now and i really just love it i feel like it's really easy to use it has some really great filter options and anybody could just download it and use it if you want more extensive filters you might need to buy it but yeah that is everything that i've been doing with my photos i feel like it's pretty simple but i do want to show you guys everything in case you do want a similar look to your photos yeah, that is everything for this video today i really hope you guys liked it i hope you found it helpful and i as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys